Marie Retros, welcome back to my big sexy life. I'm coming back. I'm coming back with the content. I'm coming back, y'all. I'm coming back. I'm here. I'm here. I know. I feel like I kind of like pre-told y'all a little bit, and I was so not ready. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I wasn't. I was like, I don't know what it's gonna be about. I don't know what I'm saying. And I, I think I can come back with some more tomorrow, but I don't know because I'll be busy a little bit. But then I don't be busy, so then I think I can do it. But then I'll be busy. But I'm here. I hit my girl up. I was like, girl, I need you to come through. I got to do something. Got to put out something. I need some help. Come through. Come ask me some questions. Do something. Let's do a mukbang. Let's mix it all together. I don't care. Whatever you got. So, my girl came up with Popeyes tonight. So, we got Popeyes on the menu. I got a little surf turf flowing. Now, mind you, I've been prepping for like two hours. I'm not even going to hold you. My girl ate two hours ago. And bam. I'm sorry, baby. It's fine. I, I, I ain't mean to do you like that. She had y'all waiting for the video and she had me waiting to eat. But I didn't wait. I let her eat. She got the questions together. I don't know what the questions are. She said she's doing it for the people. I said, I need you to do it for the people. What do you think the people will want you to ask me? So I don't know. I didn't want any pre-warning. She asked me, do you want to go over there? I said, no. Let's do it raw for the people. No, I don't like <laughs> I'm not telling y'all to do nothing raw for the people, y'all, but answer questions. Nice and 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 because thank you, no thank you. <laughs> okay, we're gonna dub that. We just gonna move on. We're gonna move on. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, come on. What is um, the first question you got for me? How did you even get to eat? Because I mean mm. it's been two okay. hours, I haven't seen the box open. Okay. Okay, girl, I got you, I got you, I got you. Got a little surf and turf. Got a little surf and turf. You know, surf and turf with Popeyes means just fried shrimp and chicken tenders. It ain't it ain't steak and lobster. It's Popeye surf and turf. It's Popeye surf and turf. Yes, with a little sweet heat. Because why? Gotta have a sweet heat on them. Mm. Gotta have it. I can't have it. I can't, that's all I can deal with. I'm spice sensitive. I can have a little spice, a little heat. But I'm 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 safe with it. I need a little sweet to come in with it. Kick it down, kick it down a little notch. But that's me. I seen you use tearing up that spicy chicken breast. I could never. Please tell the people about the gravy. She loves the gravy, y'all. Shouts out to Popeyes. Now y'all ain't sponsoring or nothing, but she loves y'all's gravy. I personally think it's too spicy, but she got a whole side of it. Dunking the chicken. I'm not a gravy dipping chicken person. I love it. Um, mm -hmm. Are you ready to play the question game? Yeah. All right. Hit me. So, Let's go. I think the people will really love to know. Um, you know, if you got a call tomorrow and they said, "All right, you're deserted to an island. You can only bring three three things. <laughs> Everything else you got to find, you got to hunt for. You have to take care of oh, on your own when you get there. What are the three items you're bringing? I think the people would love to know. Oh, damn, I think I would love to know. I know, I was like, thank goodness I'm not being asked it. Mm. Damn. That's terrible. Um, we really have to put into perspective survival. We really have to put in perspective. I know, the first thing I'm thinking like is lighter. Okay, that's a good one. A lighter. I think that's a good one. For sure. But I'm thinking like, damn, a rechargeable lighter. <laughs> but where are you going to It's not a such it? thing. Where, where are you oh, going to yeah. yeah. mm. mm. Even if there was a such thing. All right, what are your other two? So is lighter your choice of the three? Yeah, the big candle one. Okay, then what? Mm. Blankets. Blankets and sheets. Blankets and sheets? Sheets and blankets, yeah. Yeah, one more. Fuck. Canned goods. <laughs> <laughs> Weird flex, but... That's what you're. If that's what the people wanted to know, and you just gave it to them, and I appreciate that. But we got lighter, um, blankets and sheets, and canned goods, baby. Dang, I messed up. Damn, the I'm gonna have game. to figure out how to open them. Open the canned goods. I'm. I'm confident you're gonna figure it out. I'm confident the three choices you brought are gonna keep you very well. All right, so bet. good for you. Um, I messed up the question game though. You know, it always starts with what's your favorite color. Well, that's easy. You don't what's know your that color. Do you know my favorite color? I definitely color? know that, but it's not about me tonight, is it? It's, I guess. It's purple, guys. 
Okay, thank you, because I was getting a little nervous with my friend. I said, ooh, because I'm about to ask you what it is for the people, and you better know it. It's purple. It's just the questions aren't for me to answer. Good job, friend. Good job. It is purple, y'all. But why? Mm. You know, it's crazy. I feel like purple has been my favorite color longer than I even knew what purple stood for a minute. And then when I found out, I loved it even more. What is it? But purple is like the color of like royalty. <laughs> okay. Need I say more? Okay. But um, and that's just a little yeah. bit about her. That's just a little bit about her. Um, let's move on. Okay. All right. If you could only choose between getting your nails done or your toes done, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. This shouldn't be as easy as the question that it is, but it's sad because that was just the truth coming out of me. The answer to that is nails, baby. For sure. I'm gonna I keep agree. these hands dead. I'm sorry. I agree 100. I'm sorry. I know it's, I should be the opposite. Truly. I wish I was that foot bitch because a lot of bitches is like all about their feet. And I'm not saying I don't keep mine done because I do. Toes is pedicured and done right now. But if I had to choose, baby, them hands, you ain't never going to catch them slip. You, never. Go ahead. All right. Um, I think I and the people would love to know what like your new age favorite slang word is. Compared to like your old mm. favorite slang word. Oh, that's a good one. I know. I feel like every new or old slang word is almost like. Remember when I used to use crunchy? <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> <laughs> you hella crunchy. Yeah, like, crunchy. Why are you acting so crunchy? It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> yeah, crunchy was your shit. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Should we circle back? Right, because I'm like, I don't know what my favorite like, word. Like, okay, like currently, like, what's your favorite like slang word that you just like love? Like, you just can't take it out of your vocabulary. Um, probably. I'm really going for the it's the for me. It's the it's the for me. Or it's giving, like it's giving. Big sexy. And what what um what slang word do you feel like you overuse way back when and you should never? Ain't a finna be. Ain't a finna be. Okay. I'm glad we're really getting to know you tonight. Um, Where I'm from. <laughs> so, you know, if you had to choose, what would be your ideal first date? Mm. Like what? Like what's your favorite kind of date to go on? Like ideal? Like, cause I'm sure. Baby. I'm sure you've been on dates that you're like, mm -mm, this is not it, and then you've been on dates that you're like, all right, that was cool. So Baby. maybe a circle back. <laughs> no, no, no. I got it. I got it. Um, I really don't know what I feel like would be the coolest person. I don't know, but I be I be impressed by little shit, really. Just any bit of effort that you put into a past dinner or in a movie See, is good for me, me. For me, I really like an interactive date where, like, you're doing something. Like, playing a game, go-karting, something that's just, like, very laid-back, casual. See, that's the difference between date and me and you. Yeah. That is, baby. So, do you feel like you would prefer, like, you a, like a nice... Okay. I'm big. Hey, I'm Amber, big. welcome to my skinny. Uh, <laughs> welcome, welcome to, to my, my little skinny. skinny. <laughs> <laughs> because, baby, I'm big. And I wish the nigga would be like, um, okay, I'm taking us hiking. Um, we going on a scavenger hunt. Unless we scavenger in. You don't like it? Something I'm interested in. So do you think you would prefer but, like like a five-star and nice-ass dinner? Like you guys get ready and like get cute? So you just, mm-mm. Mm you speaking me. of my alley. I like to be fed. But it's not about me tonight. It's about you. And I, I like to be fed, baby. That's what I like to do. Don't take me on no adventure. Not yet. Now, if I drop 80 pounds, baby, I might want to be an adventurous. Okay. Okay, Dater, but. so with that being said, mm -hmm. what is like either, what's like the, what's like your favorite pickup line or like the best pickup line you've ever heard thus far or like recently? 
Who we'll circle back that? Oh, okay. Your best pickup line. I can't. Um, what's your? No, we're gonna go back to that one also. What's your favorite board game? <laughs> Candyland. Candyland. I like Payday to be honest with you. I never even. I never. I may never even. I, I never even heard payday. of payday. No payday. Yeah. What's that? Um. You know, it's funny because I'm gonna have a hard time describing it, but just know that if you ever get the opportunity, you should really partake because it's super fun. Um. Friend, how does your favorite part? I know. And that's why I was like, wait a minute, the questions aren't for me. And so, like, well. Actually, I haven't played it in a long time. I just know that I really like it. But I guess the concept is is to like I, I think like certain things that you land on, you have to actually like pay a bill or you get money or whatever. And it's just like I don't like that money. game. It's like basically a game that's supposed to be like based on real life. However, it's a game. If I'm playing a game, I don't want to pay no bills. This is not fun. I'm I want to stop playing this game right now. My mm -mm. favorite card game, though, I'm gonna have to go with. Probably Rummy or Uno. I was about to say. I don't feel like we've never played cards. Cause I, I probably have it. I'm like the black white girl that only know how to play I Declare War and Uno. Well, that's a shame, Aaron. I know. All right. If you could only wear one piece of jewelry, what piece of jewelry are you choosing? Mm. Damn. Mm. Only because I feel like this piece of jewelry makes such a difference in the way you look and your features. I think I have to go with earrings. Same. Because, Same. baby, sometimes earrings will just wake a bitch up. If I took my earrings off right now, it would just take me down two points. Staple. Have to have them. So, um, you are you ready to circle back to your favorite pickup line? Mm -mm. Are you serious? Haven't heard it yet. All right, what's something, no. <laughs> what's something um on your bucket list? Um, damn, bucket list. I want to say something stupid like. Well, it can be anything on your bucket list. Bungee jumping. You do want to do that? Mm -hmm. I'm very much into it also. I'm scared of heights and that's what I want to do. What was your uh, go-to candy as a child? Um, oh. I've never really been a candy girl. I'm not even going to hold you. I'm not, um, Big because of cakes and pies, baby. This is steaks and fries. Um, sweets was not my um forte, but I, I, I would say as a kid, I do remember being at the store and like if I see my mama just I she always had to get me them um them baby bottle them uh oh, the baby bottle pops the baby bottle pop baby yes See, a blue one my mom and that's why it's definitely my nostalgic is those little neko wafer candies have you ever seen them they're like in the white too mm -hmm. oh my gosh and what about uh, like an array of flavors i tell you what whoever made those candies very paw paw however a lot of flavors mm. are you a pencils or a pen kind of gal pen uh, paper Wishing it could erase like a pencil. Paper and pen or write everything down in your phone? Oh, definitely paper and pen. I am an old school. So I'm the person who I have to write it down on paper and then type it up. I can't just type it out. I'm that old. Do you, um, do you prefer night or day? For what? Just like when do you feel your very best? Night or day? Morning, nighttime, midday? Day. Really? 
Mm -hmm. Baby, at night, I'm asleep. Do you feel like you're a morning person? Like, do you feel like you wake up and you're just like... Ready? Yeah, I wake up ready. Mm -hmm. Who's your current celebrity crush? Mm. I have too many. I have husbands. Okay, but like, I just want like your most current, like who you love. If he knocked on the door today, that would be your man's. I'm so big on loyalty. I have to say my husband, T.I. Okay. But like on some people who just came out, like newer age, like who hasn't been my husband since I was in high school? Or was it middle school? It was, ooh, high school. I'm making myself sound young. I was in middle school. Rubber band, man. Well, that's a tall man. <laughs> Dang, girl, y'all look at me like that. What? But, um, I'm just excited to say mine, and I know it's not about me, but right because you see how she be picking and choosing when the interview is about her and not about her. When she want to see if her two cents is about her, then when she don't, it's not about me. But recently, a new school, I love the baby, <laughs> love the baby, love money bag, yo. Mm. And I love Kevin Gates. They all, any one of them comes to the door. I basically just love Pete Davidson, and I'm sticking to it. What? Love him. Since love him. when? Since Kim started dating? Um, even before then. Uh uh, absolutely not. You ain't never gonna like say no shit like that. I was on him probably since Ariana Grande. But you a fucking liar. Wait, why well, I'm just finding I'm this you. out? I'm telling you. Why well, I'm just finding because this out? Because I'm the kind of girl that keeps. My husband private. You know what I mean? But like I love Pete Davidson. Why? Um, I think he's absolutely hilarious. I think he's beautiful. I think that he carries himself well. I like his height. Um I just think he's an overall well rounded cool dude. You think he carries himself well and you like his height? Yeah, I like his little swag. I think he's I think he's a, a real funny guy and I like that. I'm baffled. Interesting. Especially with the new taken men that you have now. Anyways, let's move forward. What kind of, um, let's see. Would you rather be a very good dancer or a very good singer? <laughs> a very good singer. Why? Mm. A voice can take you further than dancing. So you're an opportunist. I guess so. Interesting. Interesting. What do you think you do better at, though? Singing or dancing? <laughs> um, they equal, baby. Okay. They equal. We're going to go equal. Yeah. Um, let's see. iPhone or Android? iPhone. What's your favorite accessory? My watch. Your watch? Really? I picked that uh, AirPods all day long. Really? Yeah. All day long. I, I mean, I like the watch. I'm down. I'm happy to have it. Mm -hmm. But the AirPods would have to be my number one choice every single time. I guess because... I don't know. Well, I guess because I need my watch for, like, work, like, throughout the work day. And I feel like if I don't have my watch on when I go to the gym, I didn't really go. Like, it doesn't count. Um, I guess I look at the AirPods like, bitch, I plug my other air. I plug the OGs in <laughs> quick if I really need to. So, yeah, watch for me. So, basically, if a career fairy were to drop down tomorrow present himself to you and said you can be anything in the world that you want to be career-wise um, and you're, you're going to succeed at it, what would you choose? Ooh. Um, I don't like that. Um, Um, I would say be a TV show host. Okay. Uh, for what genre of TV? Like, 
like daytime like talk like show. A, oh, okay. Talk show. Uh -huh. All right. Um, what's your favorite movie? Matilda. Why? Um, I've always loved Matilda since I was little. I love the magic where like her, the, did you used to like, she did the pancakes. When you were a kid, did you ever think you were going to wake up and have that magic too? No, you know what scarred me as a kid from watching Matilda? What? In the beginning, when her parents are like walking from the hospital, and the dad's like, oh my God, $3,000 or however much he says the hospital bill is. And the wife's like, well, no. And she, no, the wife says that or whatever, whoever says it. And he's like, what are they going to do? Repossess the kid? And I used to think, oh my God. If you don't pay your hospital bill before you leave the hospital or whatever, they're gonna like keep your kid. You don't get to take you you don't get to take your kid home. Matilda might have been the first childlike movie. Maybe not the first, I might be misspeaking, but it was a movie that gave me anxiety as a child for the fact that that one part where she has to like kinda like hide through the house, like when she's messing mm -hmm. with the lady or whatever, mm -hmm. like that was kind of like, goes through like, ah. and Mm -hmm. You know, um, and I love the chocolate cake part. I was just about to say, staple. Bruce, Bruce, right. Bruce. you're gonna do it, Brucey. 